Hello Libras and welcome. We're doing a weekly reading. This is going from the 4th through to the 8th of January 2020. Okay, so like all the good stuff that I've always mentioned, it may or may not resonate, etc. Okay, so also everything that you need is in the description box below as well. Okay, my website from where you can grab the last minute sales, okay, that are going to be on up until the 8th. All right, also you can book a reading from there as well if you are interested in doing so. All right, that's what's going on for my Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from the 4th through to the 8th. For my Libras, please. From the 4th through to the 8th. That card really wants to come out, so I'm going to take that one out. 4th through to the 8th. Fourth through to the 8th, please. For my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So we do have a couple of things going on. First off, yes, definitely doing some shadow work, okay? Um, this is your positive and negative energy trying to be balanced out. But this is also um, just the masculine feminine energy as well. And then you have the light, okay? So once you've done the shadow work, then comes in that transformation, okay, which comes into completion, right? This is um, this is your aura. It's almost like... Um, you're coming out with a very um very cleansed aura right you also have financial material changes so there's a few things that are going on in the front line of career and finances okay um but again the choice is yours what it is that you decide to do and choose you have um a few options there okay But I feel like this is also saying um, whatever you decide to choose, stay grounded, okay? Stay grounded. Okay? Um, so there's that. All right, then. So, all right. Let's see what else is going on for my Libra. So, Moon, Rising, Venus. From the 4th through to the 8th. You have help from heaven, hello from heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending your, you signs and symbols to show how much they love you, to prove they're with you at this time. Okay, so some of y'all may be seeing um, pennies on the floor, feathers, okay, of different colours. You may be seeing um, certain animals, insects, okay, around you. You may be seeing synchronicities and numbers around this time too, okay. So, your spirits, ancestors, guides are definitely there, guiding you and um, watching you through all of this that you're going through. Especially with that shadow work coming through, okay, and with that light, okay. Libra, please, from the 4th through to the 8th. It wanted to come out. Whoa. Whoa, okay. So we have sensitive emotions. Times are heightened emotions. Times of heightened emotions are sensitive to call for extra care and gentleness. So I really do feel that that's got a lot to do with this transformation shadow work that you've been doing. Aqua Aura. Healthy communication and relationship, heart-to-heart -heart discussions and clear, assertive communication help you understand and be understood as well, okay? Again, I feel like that has a lot to do with your aura being cleansed. You may find it difficult to speak, especially if you're doing chakra, chakra work as well, okay? So, try not to get frustrated, okay, if you can't get the message across, like, what it is that you need to say. So, let's go straight in with Tarot and see what's going on for you guys. Libra, please, send me rising Venus from the 4th through to the 8th of January 2021. Libra, send me rising Venus, please. All right, we're ready. Let's go. Current energy, please, for my Libras. I just want one card, please. Thank you, Spirit. 
Come on, energy for my Libras. So we have the star card. Love it. That's you. You're doing your healing. Okay. <clears throat> this is you. Your crown chakra being activated. You're doing your healing. Okay. You're ascending. What is blocking this energy? Yeah, three major corners trying to fall out. The chariot tried to come out again. What is blocking this energy? <sighs> oh my god. Okay. I'm being asked to pull out another deck. All right. I don't know. Let's see. What is blocking this energy, please, for it? That was unusual. What is blocking this energy? For my Libras, please. Oh, thank you. We have the Six of Cups. Yeah, okay. Um, right. I don't know why that was the case. What do we need to know about the recent past? We have the high priestess, so that's the shadow work that you were doing. Your intuition was coming through. What's crowning you? We have the hermit. I'm not surprised the hermit came out. You got Aquarius, you've got Pisces, Virgo energy, and you got Virgo again. Let's see what's carrying you forward, what's taking you through. Ten of Wands, love it. Your near future. Ooh, Three of Swords. How you feel within yourself? Ace of Wands. Beautiful. Love it. That's good energy. Keep it up. The person you deal with all the external environment. The lovers. Gemini energy. Your hopes and fears. You've got the Emperor in reverse. That's your fears. And then your overall outcome. Queen of Wands, love it. Your overall energy is a judgment. Okay, so I don't know what just happened there. Well, I was asked to pull out this card, but I'm guessing this has some kind of significant. And looking at this, the message that's coming to me from this is that you need to heal from childhood wounds, okay? There is some childhood trauma or childhood wounds how you were, your upbringing, how you were brought up, that's affecting the way you're seeing relationships now and the way you're seeing certain situations, okay? So childhood traumas, wounds, maybe making this really hard for you to um, kind of heal, okay? Or maybe making that a little bit difficult. So it's not like you're not trying, you are, but it's just making it difficult, right? And that's the shadow work that you need to kind of do and face. In the recent past, yes, you were really open to your intuition, messages, you are probably receiving messages, honestly, like, like lightning fast. Um, so somebody here is highly intuitive, okay? No doubt. And the hermit here is kind of like you doing your own thing, but being guided at the same time by your ancestors, by your spirit guides, okay? I do see here, though, okay, again, it's about containing i want to say that light within you needs to shine a lot brighter that is your aura okay so in your mind like you're really up in your head right now you are like conflicted as af honestly i feel like libras you guys are struggling to speak like you're actually struggling to speak i'm gonna need to hold something in my hand here but I feel like, yeah, you were definitely going introspective. You were definitely listening to your intuition, okay? Um, you were definitely, you were definitely being guided, or, you know, in this, in this energy of, yeah, okay, like, I know what my path is. I know where I'm supposed to be going. I know what I need to be doing. But again, it's like you need to face that inner demon within you. That's that shadow side here that we're talking about, right? 
But Tara once talks about getting ready to take the first steps into looking after your health and letting go of kind of any bad habits that you may have, toxicities. Um, and usually when we're going through shadow work, that's pretty much what we're doing as well. So it's not just soul, it's not just spirit, it's physical as well. You need to love yourself first, okay? That is very, very important. Give yourself the love that you may not have received in childhood, right? And say, hey, it's okay. I'm, I'm allowed to be loved. I'm allowed to have a hug. I'm allowed to, you know, laugh and play and be like a child and do all the things that I wanted to do and without being judged as well, okay? Again, self-love, okay? Self-love, be expressive. Because as you move into the near future, there may be some heartbreak, there may be a separation, there may be a disappointment. You may feel discontent, okay? But you need to accept the things the way they are. Accept it the way they are, right? <laughs> because you have something new that you're trying to manifest and bring in. There is something new that's starting here. This could be a relationship. This could be a job, right? This is something new that you are trying to start. And you're going to do it with a lot of passion. Your person is your soulmate that's coming in, okay? They are appearing as a soulmate, but this could also indicate third-party situation. And this third-party situation may be causing an issue for you right now with in terms of your own traumas that you're trying to deal with, your own past issues that you're trying to deal with. But remember to love yourself first, okay? Now, this person may be committed to you, but at the same time, they don't want to leave you. I mean, they could easily leave the other person if they're in a third-party situation. That's what I feel. But again, it's they want a commitment or either you want a commitment with them. But there is something going on here which is causing a separation, a test from the universe. Your fear is the emperor in reverse. Now, I think this stems back to this Six of Cups energy here, that you could be, in your childhood, you could have dealt with somebody who was over-dominating, over-controlling, somebody who um, was abusive in a relationship, right? Somebody who was manipulative in the relationship, right? Somebody who is narcissistic, basically. That is your fear. This could be your fear that you don't want to turn out to be like the person in your past as well. You do have as the overall outcome the Queen of Wands, okay? And it says here I'm naturally creative, yes, and highly intuitive. So you could be an empath, you could be somebody who is a clairvoyant, you're maybe like experiencing changes in your abilities that what you have. The Queen of Wands is somebody who's definitely very determined, intuitive, occult. Um, manifesta it's a manifesta but you have a decision to make so let's go in and see what this is let's clarify this reading spirit and angel guides please clarify this reading for my libras show me the hidden energies and show me clearly please show libras the hidden energy show them clearly what is it that they need to know what is the underlying energy please of these cards thank you so much spirit and angel guides Okay, so let's see what the star is. Talk about the star, please. You have the King of Cups, so being very emotionally balanced, meditating, healing, like I said, right? Energy work, chakra work. Let's see what the Six of Cups is. Talk about the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is Page of Cups. So, yeah, definitely something to do with your inner child, okay, where... Um, I feel like whoever you were dealing with in the past... In your childhood, okay, it could have been a parent as well, a sibling. I really feel like it's somebody who is like a parent here, okay? But whoever this person is, okay, they never let you be, like you always had everything that you wanted to some extent, but you felt like an outsider in the family. You felt like an outsider in the home. You were never grounded, okay? And I also feel they never got to creatively express yourself 
for a lot of Libras out there. You never got to creatively express yourself. You were always told to not do this, not do that, and never do it this way, never do it that way. Right? And as parents, we would tend to say that to our children, that's fine. But I guess these were things that you could have done, that you see children do. But because I feel like your parent came across as somebody who was narcissistic, very controlling, abusive, you never really got the chance to flourish and thrive the way you should have. You always wanted that love, but you saw, perhaps, I feel like this is a dysfunctional family in a sense. And I'm sorry to say, but it's coming across like that. You never really got the love that you wanted. I feel like your own parents may have been very discontent. Tell me about the High Priestess. High Priestess, four of, uh, four of Wands and the Eight of Swords. The Four of Wands and the Eight of Swords talks about you're trying to break free from being trapped in this darkness, right? In this, like, I would like to say that you're trying to keep things a secret and it may be becoming a bit hard for you now to contain that. But there is stability there. I want to know what's going on. Hold on. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. What is this Eight of Swords doing here? You have a vision. You have a vision. All right. Sorry, it's coming. It's coming. Spirit's talking to me. You have a vision and you see that vision as a four of wands, which is something that's stable. Celebrations. You want to have those four pillars firmly in the ground, okay? That stability. 2-2 two, two Twin Flame. But you need to let go of something. And you know that you need to let go of this. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Ten of Cups, because until you don't, you're not going to have the Ten of Cups. It's not possible to have the Ten of Cups if we're still holding on to something that's going to never benefit us. And like I said, I really feel like this is a dysfunctional family that you may have come from, where you have a narcissistic parent who was emotionally detached, never gave you that love, made you feel like alienated in the home, in the family. You are very unexpressive. This may not resonate with everyone, but it's definitely going to resonate with someone out there. Tell me about the Hermit. The Tower, there's those changes going on. Yeah, definitely. The Hermit is making you realise that it's time to go through this moment of awakening. Your crown chakra is being activated. Foundations are crumbling. Things are no longer going to stay the way they are. Mm-hmm. And it's happening deep within you, like to the core of your soul, those changes are happening. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. There is something new coming in. So once you've let go of these burdens, there is something stable and solid coming in. It's going to be divinely given to you. This could be a very big opportunity, a huge opportunity, in fact. Um, tell me about this Ace of Pentacles, what is this opportunity? But you need to do some self-love, self-work. Working on yourself, right? Six of Wands in reverse. Nope, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, six of Wands upright. Okay, they just told me to flip it back over. I feel like someone's spirit guides are with me right now. I really do. I feel like someone's guides are with me right now. There is success coming in, so if you are in the public eye, okay, or you have a job that is entails you to be in the public eye, this is something that's going to be successful. You're going to be recognised, and that's something that you've pretty much wanted, right? Um, there is a big and huge opportunity coming in, accomplishments, right? And people are going to big you up big time for this. They're going to see your achievements. Time for three of swords.
we have the nine of wands and the page of swords so you may be watching someone or somebody may be watching you i feel like you're watching this person because i really do feel that with the three of swords you may have seen this person in a third party relationship and you're blocking this person out it does not bother you as much now right you just want this person to stay away from you um you want this person to stay out of your your circle this little bubble that you made right for yourself you're going to stand resistant you're going to stand resistant towards this person but you're also going to stand very resilient towards this person as well you are coming across as a queen of cups somebody who's emotionally intuitively aware so like i said you probably know but this is you as well being emotionally balanced and nurturing caring right Ten, but yes, ones. Ace of Wands with the Magician. You're manifesting a new connection, something. You're manifesting something new. So it could be a new business, it could be a new relationship. Yeah, you're definitely manifesting something new here, like a real soulmate twin flame connection. Tell me about the lovers. We have the Hierophant. So um, the Hierophant is. You're, you're trying to manifest, okay, someone to come in and you want a spiritual reunion with someone, right? And I feel like that's what's going to happen. There is someone that's going to come in and this person is going to match your spirituality. They're going to be at the same level of spirituality with you at the same frequency and same vibration. I feel like you're going to learn a lot from this person. This person is going to learn a lot from you. But there's going to be a high level of spiritual commitment here between you and this person. Right? Tell me about the Hierophant. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's leading you to something um, that is going to be long-lasting. That's going to be forward towards some long-term stability, right? But it's going to be a slow-moving energy. That's the only thing. But it's going to be a very grounding energy. So I'd rather you have something that's coming in slow but for the long term rather than having something that's fast and ends up becoming a third party situation libra so yeah tell me about the emperor in reverse why is why is the emperor in reverse the knight of wands aries the air sagittarius and more about the knight of wands i feel like this is somebody that you just don't want to be like there could be someone from your past who you feel like you're going to end up as right or you're going to deal with somebody like that but this i feel like is you right this is you like somebody who who's completely the opposite of a narcissist clearly somebody who knows family values somebody who knows the value of relationships somebody who is trustful and reliable right king of one please like yeah you see i feel like you want to put an end to those challenges the conflicts that you're having the competition that you're having more importantly i feel like these are challenges that you're facing like okay i need to end this i can't be like this person and if this person is in your life right now and they're behaving this way i feel like again it's the same energy you're still coming up as a king of wands to me, Libra. And I feel like this is something where you are like, this has to end. This has to end. I'm going to keep persisting. There's something about your solar plexus as well. So you might need to be working on your solar plexus. Tell me about the queen of wands. Tell me about the queen of wands. You have the set of cups, yeah, look at this. You did a whole 360 glow up with the Queen of Wands. You're really attractive, Libra, very attractive. And you're going to have a lot of suitors. The Emperor upright. Oh, yeah, definitely. But you're looking for, like, the real deal, if you know what I mean. Right, Libras? Male, female, it makes no difference. Um... Gender's not specific here, the energy is what's specific. You have the right balance of masculine and feminine energy. I feel like the emperor here is like, you're in the game. Like, you're in the game, Libras. Tell me more about the emperor. 
you're looking for the one you know the one that has it all you have the death card and rebirth in reverse but somebody might make it a little bit difficult to move on letting go and moving on from a past situation so it could be an ex who's making it difficult for you to move on it's always the ex <laughs> honestly libras it's always the ex oh right look at this oh high priestess with the four of wands that is nice you're getting that stability you're getting what you want right advice for libras please thank you advice for libra for this reading one more shuffle advice for libras for this reading oh my god your energy fell out <laughs> love it oh okay you're gonna you know what let me put it out there now what i'm seeing here is karmic justice is coming right the truth prevails that is your energy there you are karma right your karmic justice the truth and clarity is coming you're going to move on into better days all right with this knight of cups you are and i feel like there is someone and you know it that they you deep down within you you know you're getting that feeling and that's probably that solar plexus right there is someone coming in and they're going to offer you this this love right knight in shining armor they could be marriage here as well but you even if this person right tries to stop you from moving on and stop you from changing because their own vibration is low i feel like you do you won't care you're going to do what you need to do and put an end to it so that you can move on right the huge transformation right you're going to take your energy and move on and go and do what is right what is karmically right okay that's what i feel this is also you about having the right masculine and feminine balanced energy. So I feel like your advice is pretty straightforward here. Do what you need to do in order to go through this transformation, which means move on. Move on, okay? And offer your love to somebody who is going to actually appreciate it and value you. Don't settle for the emperor in reverse or don't settle for less. You are karmically getting what you deserve, which is justice, right? The truth, clarity. So don't stop on that journey. You're not far from it. You're not. Okay, on that note, Libras, I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope it resonates. And if it does, don't forget to smash like, share, and of course, to subscribe down below. And love, light, blessings to all of you. Bye-bye.